guess what is this? Buff Base Birthday Cake Almond Butter. It is out of sight. It's not a low calorie treat by any means, but two tablespoons, 11 grams of protein, four grams of fiber, and around 200 calories, which is best two tablespoons of peanut butter. Oh wow, oh yeah. Out of oh, sight, wow. dangerously good. Happy birthday. <laughs> <laughs> I made it to the roof. <laughs> what? Hat hair. Margo to St. Barbara. Chris, Barbara. who do you go to? My friends at Great Clips. <laughs> <laughs> topic is what am I going to take on with my stronger fitter body well first of all this is not over for me um, you can join us for the next challenge which is still in it and I'm going to be taking on the fact that I'm going to be wearing a wedding dress in six months I want my arms to look great because that's always been my downfall in my arms and I might even get up enough confidence to wear a thong on my <laughs> on the beach for our honeymoon in Cancun because it's what all the hot girls do and you know what? I want to look good in the thong on the beach. So I might just do that. So that's what I got. Theme this week is what are you going to do with your hot bod? I don't think it's, uh, I don't think it says that on there. <laughs> We're gonna go with it. And since I'm transforming for life, I don't really have anything specific or exciting to tell you, but it is almost boating season and the thought of being bikini ready by the time that gets here sounds amazing. It's definitely a perk of staying fit all year long and making this a consistent lifestyle. All of the above are all positive influences on keeping this girl to do morning cardio. <laughs> Hi. So what am I gonna do after the transformation is done? It's a lifelong thing for me. It's not, it's not just 12 weeks. It's about like, making a change. You know, I made a change a couple years ago to eat better and to you know, start being more active, lifting weights, being more aerobic. And I, so far I've stuck to that and I'm proud of that. And that's just something I'm gonna, I'm gonna keep going. And I'm gonna keep, uh, keep on keeping on. I'm going to Hawaii in five weeks, so that's actually the goal of what I've been transforming and, and, and dieting. I've been slagging a little bit, to be honest. I feel like I could go a little bit harder, so I'm kind of going to like reevaluate everything I'm doing and really go hard for the next five weeks, even beyond the transformation. The transformation doesn't end after 12 weeks. I mean, one thing I've known at working at Body Lockout for this long, and just in general with health and fitness, it doesn't stop after 12 weeks. you got to keep going, you got to keep pushing. And the result is way beyond the 12 weeks. It's gonna be like 50 years, that's the end result for me. So keep going, keep crushing. I haven't really had an aesthetically based goal through most of this transformation. Been trying to increase my strength and size, which has been so far pretty successful. I'm thinking about maybe trying a powerlifting meet, but that's not gonna be till later in the year. Uh, so for now, I'm just gonna keep sent setting incremental strength goals and shoot for a 500 plus pound deadlift, probably a 455 pound squat and uh, a 350 pound bench. Love it. The reason we built this program the way we did is because it's a 365 day year program. It goes on year after year and we just keep rolling. We set new goals with each challenge. We knock those goals out and, and go again. So that's what it's about for me. Set goals, dominate, set new goals, smash them, <laughs> eat a Sunday. <laughs> <laughs> Peace. Dean, if I shoot from like down here, you look like a giant. Hell yeah, keep doing that thing. <laughs> Obviously, I'm never finished. It's a big, long journey. Initially, I'm just gonna be super excited to have cut some weight, toned up a little bit, but I also, I think, I'm starting to work into that mindset of wanting to put on some size. So get stronger, get bigger, um, start to eat a little bit more. Just can't wait to, you know, take my shirt off, have the board shorts on, and just uh, feel confident and feel good that the hard work I put in paid off. This is our company goal wall. And we have several goal walls around the company. Most of them are related to company objectives, but this is specifically fitness goals. So this is where anybody at any time can come and write down a new fitness goal. And you can scrub your old one out, set a new one, cram it in between all the others. Uh, it's constantly rotating, constantly evolving. It's a community space where everybody can 
really feature and showcase and share what they want to accomplish, and that helps us hold each other accountable. What I love about this wall is the diversity of the goals. Uh, some people like to set really quantitative goals about their body fat percentage or certain pounds. Other people like really inspirational qualitative goals, and they all work, they all fit, um, whatever inspires you. Um, and so one of them I wanted to point out right here from Ashley Warner, it's cool when we have our athletes come because they actually post their goals too. So Charlie Mike from Ashley Warner, not only is that the name of a new trainer we just released with her, but in the military over radio, Charlie Mike means continue mission. So Ashley's goal, very simply put, is to continue mission. So the first thing you've got to do is define your own mission and then stick to it, consistency over time.